practices are? Your film's going through spring now and 13, 14 practices of the fall. Yeah, um, it's definitely an explosive offense. There's a lot, a lot of things that come with a great mind like Coach Norvell and Coach Atkins. There's a lot of concepts, a lot of beaters that you can be inverts. There's, there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes on in this offense that I'm glad to be a part of. I mean, you look back at Coach Norvell's history with his receivers. He's been so explosive with a lot of his guys and displayed a lot of their uh, abilities. And Coach Norvell has put me in positions and Coach Atkins have put me in positions to make plays in camp. And uh, they use my strengths. And um, that's something that's new to me. I never really had a you know, offense coordinator other than Coach Arroyo that put me in a position to make a play that I'm actually capable of doing uh, very frequently, you know, so, yeah. How's, how's the chemistry and the confidence with the quarterback? Yeah, so, like I said, I love my boy Jay Trav. We, on and off the field, he's a great friend, uh, great quarterback. Uh, he's been super impressive. I told him I haven't seen a guy like him since Jay Herb days. Like, seriously, I, I, I'm not even trying to gas my guy up, but he's literally, he's that, he's that impressive to me. And uh, seeing the throws he makes, seeing what he can do on the run, um, seeing how, you know, agile and quick he is to get out of the pocket and stuff. I mean, it's, it's second to none. And this man is super impressive. And um, I'm here to help him and help him win some football games. So, yeah. From a guy who's played, played the position a long time, a guy like Deuce, the development mm -hmm. that he's had, what, what kind of challenges go, what's the learning curve like, and yeah. how have you really seen him develop? Oh, I love Deuce, man. That's one of my favorite guys on the team, man. Uh, he's he's a character. He's funny. Uh, a guy like him, he's going to be, I don't think he knows his potential yet. That, that man is extremely fast. Can't really teach speed other than track, but that can only take you so far. You know, Deuce is... I mean, he's he's a special talent, very freakish athlete, uh, can go up and go get it, can burn you, uh, can take a swing around and take it 40 yards very easily. His jogging looks like full speed. So uh, just him seeing him develop and seeing how Coach Dugans is uh, developing him is, is just impressive. And I love just watching him work. You know, he's a younger guy, but like, like I said, I love being around him. He's a great character on and off the field. So yeah. What do you think kind of the receiver room as a whole has gotten better at since the end of spring? Uh, just separation, uh, I would say getting open. A lot of these, like, I can't tell you there's a play where guys aren't open, you know. Uh, we're trying to get open for our quarterbacks, making them feel as comfortable as possible in that in that pocket because, you know, at, things break down at times and you got to be open at, you got to be on their timetable. And I think uh, all that, you know, working together and off-season throwing um, has been helping us a lot and just being able to, you know, being on the quarterback's timetable is, is I think, what we improved on a lot. Uh, Johnny Wilson is capable of doing whatever he wants. He's six seven. He can do what he wants. Honestly, if he wants to go get the ball, he'll go get the ball. Uh, I've seen it since high school. I mean, we've been together forever. Um, I'm I'm his biggest fan. I'm in his corner at all times. It's, that's my guy. I, I look at him. He's a little big brother. You know, he's younger than me, but I've been looking out for him. He's been looking out for me. He's he's my guy. And I mean, that dude is capable of doing whatever he wants. Seriously, I I love him, and I'm so glad that I, God put him in my life. What was this week like? Coach Norvell called it an identity week, but it was a hard week. I mean, mm -hmm. Finishing with a scrimmage tomorrow, six straight days. What's that like? Yeah, uh, it's it's it is an identity week. It's a hard week. It's. It's a trying week. It's a mental week. It's a lot of it's a lot of that goes down into it, um, you know. But at the end of the day, I, I really did enjoy this experience and coming out here with my football team, being able to do a campfire, being able to you know talk with the guys and actually talk with them off the field because you know we're at the facility all day and all we do is talk ball. And so we took some time off to like hang out with each other. Um, we're sitting in like this. I wouldn't. I don't want to say it's a prison cell, but it's like spaced out. We got a circle and. And we all like talk, we all hang out there and it's a good, it's a good time to like be together. And um, I, I get why Coach Norvell put us in this situation to make us uncomfortable for us to be together and for us to, you know, work on our relationships with each other. Because at the end of the team, or at the end of the day, if a team doesn't have a good relationship, don't trust each other, you know, it's not going to be as successful as you want it to be. So um, I'm grateful. I've learned a lot about these guys in the two days I've been here. So.